Well, welcome back to the channel. Much appreciated for you joining me today. And uh, out on a little ride out today. Um, oh, just fire up. You have to go through this start-up process with the Triumph. Um, turn the ignition on and then wait. Oh, here we go. I've been on the bike about an hour and a half, actually. I'll try and pull out of here without getting taken out. Um, here we go. Hold on. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I've been on the back bike about an hour and a half, so we're right up uh, on the no north Norfolk coast, a little village called Burnham Market. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, uh, basically, you know, you can just state that you can ride this bike literally for. Well, I'm, I'm, my ass is okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no problems. Yeah. Uh, very comfortable. Here we are, Burnham Market. Very, very nice village. This one, uh, well known for actually quite a few celebrities, I believe, have actually bought houses or have been seen around this area. Johnny Depp, I think, is one. I might be wrong, but rumours have it. Yeah, we're now coming into the little in, into the li little village, so. Uh, very nice. I've got heated grips. It's very. It's not the best of days today. It's fairly, fairly breezy, fairly windy, a little bit chilly. But I have actually. I'll turn them on again. The heated grips have been on, working their magic. And I'm uh, sort of like this. This is a time of year now where. Oh, look at this lovely village. A few people out and about, sitting outside the pub there, wandering about. Take it nice and easy through here, not to cause any bother. <laughs> well, I've not seen Johnny Depp yet. <laughs> but yeah, well, anyway, yeah, I was just saying, it's that time of year, which is ideal for these, these uh, heated grips, you know. You do get cold pinkies, spoils the, uh, the ride out, you know. Yeah, very comfortable bike this. I mean, it's a good all-rounder. It's a good all-rounder. And, uh, yeah, kind of main purpose of the, of the video today is just to sort of, you know, just, just to, uh, uh, you know, exaggerate that, that fact that you can actually ride this bike to your heart's content, really. It's a good all-round bike. I mean, there's some lovely, been some lovely twisties on the way out here. You know, sort of two hours, hour and a half, two hours away from home, so... And we're following the woodman. <laughs> How's he going? Oh, decided to go in there. He's got no indicator on his trailer. Nice. So yeah, anyway, I was just saying you can you can basically ride this is a good all-round bike this and it leads me leads me to the discussion of would I but would I buy, go out and buy this bike again if I was in the market for you know this you know in the market for another bike. You know, this this is. I, I honestly can't really fault it, to be honest. It really is a good all-round bike. It's good on, good, you know, reasonable on, reasonable on fuel. For excellent performance, very comfortable. You know, I've, I have added on a few bits and pieces here and there, tail tidy on the back to tidy up the old arse end. And what else have I done? Oh yeah, the heated grips, what I've just been talking about. Ooh. Lovely little cottages out here. But they're not cheap, either. So it's one of those... Ooh. That time of year now, where I don't, you know, I don't really know how much more I'm going to get out, really. I was kind of looking out, going out and doing another review, you know, on another new model. So, uh not sure which one let me know let me know what you'd uh, like to see me take out and test ride see if I can uh, you know get out but yeah that is that time of year unfortunately where I think we're gonna we can't really ride all year in the UK you can but it's not it's not very enjoyable if you're anything like me and you don't like 
going out freezing your knackers off because <laughs> it is no fun no fun at all hopefully you can hear me like I say it is windy Ooh. yeah I mean uh, 765cc this bike and I, I honestly think it's the sweet spot you know you can buy a one litre bike or or, or larger you know the, the new speed triple or yeah and I honestly think that this is the, the you know kind of like that that sweet spot of a uh, you know a good all round bike not really got too many niggles with it not had any issues with it like I say I would I think get you know going back to the question would I go out and buy this bike again or would I go out and buy this bike should I be looking for another one and uh, I think yeah at the moment I would there's not really there's one or two bikes out there that I, I have rode and I have gone yeah I, I could see myself on it but I say I've not really had this very long this one it's probably a year in a year in January I think so yeah I've not had it very long still very pleased with it yeah if, you, if you're new to the channel and you're interested in anything bike related, motorcycle related let's take a ride here and we'll head towards Wales consider hitting that subscribe button join me on the channel for you know more reviews and ride outs Ooh. <laughs> wherever possible but they will probably be right, so we've got we've got some bad weather coming I think the temperature's going to start dropping see the old dash has just gone into uh, night mode again there it's got like a light cell on it which uh, flicks it from day and night it actually does it sometimes when you wouldn't think it would it should you know fairly bright out of here I know it's dark at the moment but yeah Another thing I do find with this, I know a lot of the triumphs are the same, is you see the headlight, the light on there, and that's actually the daytime running light, which is a bit weird really. I mean, you, I'll do it now, wait for that car to go past. So I flip that down, this switch, and I'm now on the main beam. Now, you'd think that that light would be on with your main, main lights on, you know, but it isn't. It's only on when you've got the daytime running light switch like there now, it's just now back on bit of a strange one that one yeah another thing that would be interesting is uh, it's got a little little like a blank there on I don't know if you can see on there which um, on the speed triple has got the cruise control button it would be interested interesting to know if you could you know upgrade this model I'm not sure actually to uh, you know for the cruise control what a lovely day today although it's bloody cold it's always nice to get out, nice to get out like I say we're now coming in a well shortly <laughs> beautiful yeah I do like I do you know the everything's I mean the suspension's nice on this not too hard right absolutely gorgeous I just love everything about the bike. I am due a new rear tyre soon, I think, though. Uh, I've done, I don't know what I've done mileage-wise. About 2,000 mile nearly now. You generally normally get about 3,000. Hello, sir. Mr and Mrs. On the Tourer. You could actually use this for a Tourer bike. I also have no issues with the with a part with a rectum on the seat <laughs> yeah it's a it's a good all-round bike handles just right for me anyway I've not been on the track with it yet maybe that's something I might well do but yeah I've got no plans at the moment uh, you know to swap the bike down for anything else or 
add another bike to the to the old collection. Well, oh, collection, I've only got the one. As you know, the GSX R1000 R was gone. Sold that on. Oh, that old van's chucking out some smoke. I can taste it. But yeah, I've had no problems, so um, I will need a rear tyre. Front tyre's okay. Uh, I'll go down here, into the village of Wells, and have a little nosy. This is a little village by the sea, Wells. It's actually very, it's a tidal, very, it's tidal harbour, so you can see um, vessels sitting on the mud and on the sandbank until the tide comes in, comes up. Very expensive area, I think, to buy property. Not over, nowhere near as expensive as Burnham Market though, I think. <laughs> the one we've just been through. Oh, stay there. Yeah, you often find, like, I've, I had it earlier where you had, um, you know, I was following a bus, and then you had a, quite a large ca uh, sort of camper van, or Winnebago, whatever, uh, you know, come on the other way. And that caused so much carnage, because the roads are very narrow through here. Not so much here, but, you know, some of the roads... Let's move, move over a bit so you can see him in his mirror. Yeah. You know, and you've got, you've got the bus trying to reverse, you've got the, the camper trying to reverse. Let's have a look down here. <coughs> and, uh, you know, it just causes a lot of carnage, really. I'd be, it's, it, I should imagine it's quite stressful. I don't want to do it, really. The roads aren't really wide enough. Uh, how boring. Not going to bother going all the way down there. Try and turn around here. Oh, oh on the grass. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you can do that on a sport bike. <laughs> oh, you'd struggle. <laughs> There's nothing really down here of any interest, I don't think. We'll, we'll uh, carry on where we were before. <laughs> Couldn't do that in a camp van either, could you? Turn it around like that. This is uh, very famous or well known for like seafood and uh, crabs and what well, I can actually smell it. Uh, it's a fish and chip shops. <coughs> Yeah, the tide's actually coming in, I think, at the moment. So, uh, of course, yeah, I can smell. I can smell, I see all the lobster pots there. Yeah, I can smell, um, smell seafood, crabs, lobster, whatever it is, fish. <laughs> oh, there's a vessel there unloading. So, yeah, anyway, it's just a little ride out, really. Just, the, you know, hello, sir. He's having a little nosy at the Triumph. Plenty of people out and about today. Yeah, just a little discussion about, you know, the ownership really of, of, of the motorcycle. The Triumph Street Triple 765 RS. Oh, he's nipping along on that bike, 30 miles an hour. He's not even pedalling. I'm going to go for the overtake manoeuvre. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I'd much rather be on the motorbike. Looks too much like hard work, that does. <laughs> Take a left here and we'll head back towards Chroma. Another village by the sea, famous for its crabs. 
and uh, seafood again it is all a lot sort of kind of all of these little villages by the by the river uh, by the sea sorry little towns very nice well anyway yeah uh, just a little ride out there much appreciated for you joining me and uh you know, hopefully I'll see you on the next video so uh, take care and see you soon